Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omanus and today I will review the third studio album by the indie rock band Vampire Weekend. Modern, modern vampires of the city. Yeah, this is a indie rock band like I said. They are from England I'm pretty sure because you know their accent comes out in their music pretty frequently so I'm pretty sure they're British. Nope, they're from New York. They're um, they're American. Uh, they formed in two thousand six, so um, they are a pretty big deal. Um, they were, were always one of those bands where I was like, they look like a good band, so I'm not sure if I will like them. And now I check this out, and yeah, I can say to you, I will. I am not a fan of this band. I don't think it's a shit band. Uh, this album got like rave reviews, everyone really loves it, especially Pitchfork, Jesus Christ, they gave it a 9.3. Rolling Stone loves this too, they gave it a 4.5. Rolling Stone gave this a good rating, holy shit. And then you know shit, uh, shit is going down. Personally, I was not a, not a huge fan of it, I just don't really like this kind of music, this kind of like sissy, kind of like whiny kind of nasally indie rock music i'm not a huge fan of that uh is there a particular song that stands out for me to me that the, the opening track was just you know it sounds like any other vampire song to me that i've heard uh, up until this point uh there was this one song that really annoyed me uh diane young which I've heard in previews, uh, you know, sometimes, which is the song that goes like, da, 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 da. you know, that song. It always sounds like shit to me. It always sounds like a shit song. No offense to any fans out there, but that song kind of sucks. I probably would put that on the least favorite, uh, on the least favorite track listing. And one other song, which I will get to. What else stood out to me? I think that Don't Lie was a bit better, uh, kind of improved upon that tone. Uh, the tone was really annoy annoying of Diane Young and I think that Don't Lie did a, did a better job. That's, you know, they kind of improved upon being less annoying uh, frat boys. So there's that. Hannah Hunt was kind of interesting to me. That was a bit more, uh, you know, just better sounding to me. It was just, you know, a better song, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know, Everlasting Arms and Finger back then really stood out to me, they, they were just kind of like whatever to me. Worship You, uh, there was like one song on there that I really liked, I think that was Unbelievers maybe, that was an enjoyable song. That song was a bit more ambitious I think, a bit more, I don't know, a bit more high value I think, just a bit more effort put into it. Either Unbelievers or Stuff was pretty good, those two songs are good. Don't like the don't like this, uh, the first and the fourth song though. Don't use one of those. Um, one song that really took the piss out of me, which is pretty much my least favorite song on the album, which is Ya yeah, Hey, which constantly went like Ya yeah, Hey or something, or that was like that was like constantly a really annoying sound with Ya yeah, Hey, which really fucking pissed me off. Uh, I don't know why it's there. It's really infuriating. It's really like taking the piss out of me, it's really pissing me off. Uh, fuck that song, I hope it dies. It's fucking five minutes long. It's the longest song of the album and it annoyed me so much, Jesus Christ, it really went on forever. Uh, Hudson is arguably my favorite song on the album. Um, it is a really like kind of ambitious, kind of like emotional kind of song. Um, you know, it's it's it sounds a bit more military inspired or something, or it sounds a bit more, I don't know, more serious in tone, where other vampire songs might sound a bit loose, collected, a bit more like, you know, hissy, a bit more just whatever, random subjects. But Hudson sounds like something that they would write, you know, about a family member or something, or, you know, it's a more serious song about a more serious topic. And that's how Hudson sounds to me. I believe there's so, some piano key on, it, on the air, there are some, you know, more, orchestral orchestral you know instrument on the track that's why it sounds a bit more professional and a bit more interesting to me uh the other tracks have that too in some degree but hudson especially has, has it more i think so or just has it more period so very good song i like it more because it is a bit more high value i think it is a bit more there's a bit more 
ever put into the track, so I definitely prefer that one. Yeah, hey, can still fuck itself. And then Young Lion closes the album out, which is basically just like a pretty piano part for uh, two minutes. I think that if they made this song like two minutes longer, it would have been one of my favorite because I do like it. It's, it's a very pretty way to close out the album, but I think it could have been two minutes longer. But you know, they didn't do that. But but I still think it's pretty good. So yeah, that is this album. Um, the first track was not very good. Unbelievers is pretty good. Step is pretty good. Diane Young is awful. Where's awful? Diane Young is pretty bad. Um, Don't lie was meh. Everlasting arms and finger back were meh. Uh, Worship you was decent. Yeah, hey was awful. Hudson was pretty good, and Young Lion was you know could have been a better track if it had more length. So I think this album is so so. It was um, you know pretty regular, I think pretty standard. It was not like amazing or something, but um, it's just a solid album, I think. You know you have some um, singles on there. You have some like nice melodies. They kind of sound like a Beach House clone to me. I'm not sure if Beach House was before this band, but maybe. Because I believe that Beach House is also relatively new. This band, you know, formed in 2006. So they definitely have kind of a Beach House vibe to me. Uh, Beach House is from 2004, so yeah, relatively inspired by Beach House, even though there, there's like no difference in the band. As in, um, you know, when they formed. So yeah, their first album came out uh, in October 3rd, 2006. That's when that's uh, when their first album came out. When did their first album come out? I think in 2008 or something. Yeah, self-titled came out in uh, 2008. Um, yeah, self-titled. Uh, so this album is good. I checked out this album. Um, the first three albums were requested, Self-Titled, Contra, and uh, Vampire, Love, Modern Vampires of the City, that one, this one. Um, and I checked on this one because this one had the highest rating, so I was like, it must be the best one, right? But, I don't know, I might have preferred the first two, because this one is indie rock, art pop, and chamber pop. I don't actually really fuck with all of those genres, but, well, except for indie, I'm not a huge indie bloke, but... You know, I am slowly coming around to indie. I, I am liking more indie music. Uh, contrast pop, indie rock, and synth pop. That sounds a bit more accessible. And the first one is indie pop, chamber pop, Afro pop, and world beat. So, um, Modern Vampires of the City definitely sounds the best to me. And they also have like the most recent one, Fathers of the Bride, which is just pop indie rock. I don't know why they took six years to make the album, and it's just like really generic pop indie rock, but whatever. So, um, I'm gonna say I'm not a huge fan of this band. I don't like the way they sound and how repetitive how everything is, and just how um, they kind of sound generic to me. I don't know, they, they don't really sound interesting to me. But this was a good album. I do like some songs with this album, you know, there's nothing inherently wrong with this album, but I just kind of hate some parts of this album, kind of hate the tone, it's not really my kind of music, so if I would rate it on a personal scale, I would rate, I'd probably rate it a 3 or a 4, because I'm just not, I don't like this kind of music, it just, it's just like really pretentious indie hipster bullshit music to me. But, you know, I'm not going to rate it 3 or 4 because it is a good album. But that's, that's my personal rating. I would, you know, my professional rating, my actual rating would be a 7 out of 10. I think it's a fine album. It's, it's a good album, but it's not my kind of album. I just don't, I don't care for this kind of music. So that's kind of it, honestly. You know, they, they sound like, what do they sound like? They sound like a discount arcade fire to me. That's essentially it. That's that's the whole message right there. There. I could have I could have just said that and I could have ended it there, but there you go. That's that's my message right there. So that's kind of it honestly. Uh Vampire Weekend, uh Modern Vampires of the City, something like that. Uh what do you what do you think about it? Love it, hate it. Let me know in the comments down below. Like this video, support me, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.